peace family what's up how y'all doing on this mars day when i'm recording this and that is march 8th 2022 gonna get right into it check our priority for today what is our priority for today two more Peace, okay, being still, all right, receptive vibes, all right, so let's see, what's the priority for today, what's the priority for today, I was, saw the, I was singing the King of Pentacles in reverse earlier, so, ooh, the tower, um, the priority for today is expect the unexpected, major change personal transformation all right whatever this change is it's for personal transformation all right largely concerning maybe even deep desires like somebody's you know i don't know this crown is getting knocked off and it's um it's standing out to me um be aware that you know feeling like you know something is rather secure as it pertains to your i got personal development or whatever it is um it's for progression it's progressive change but shocking shocking revelations be aware okay somebody ju just might dodge like i just got imminent death like these are looking like ice or swords or something that could sharply pierce you and you'll be dead okay Something like that. Oh, be aware. For wands out of nowhere, alignment with um, a strong spiritual foundation as it relates to another person, place, or thing. Okay, be aware. Okay. And I don't know. Will of Fortune to reverse judgment card here? Like you could feel like, oh, I'm just like, it's just not happening or whatever. But I don't know. What's the obstacle? What is the obstacle to this priority? What is the obstacle? What is the obstacle? The magician. I really feel like standing even in your own way. Overall, I'm not feeling nothing like quote unquote bad about this. You know, bad is subjective, but like I would say regressive, regressive or, you know, negative, okay? And even negative can, you know, be good anyway. But I want to say regressive about this. I don't feel necessarily, even this obstacle is necessarily regressive. regressive. I feel like, you know, um, is this this is giving me like, yo, I'm in competition with my myself um, energy. Like literally you continuing or trying to manifest something in the way that you want to, whatever this is, that's, shocking and it's something spiritual something very much aligned i got connectedness um authentic real happy celebratory like whatever it would just be quote unquote you getting in your own way about this like you know kind of like over and manipulated like oh no it's not i didn't see this happening this way but it's still happening just possibly like shockingly or something like that queen of wands in reverse ace of wands there's a jealous there's an overbearing energy here with that with the empress in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse could be two people it could be two people this magician be aware two people could be manifesting like this radical happening soulmate type situation from occurring like they don't want you know but this magician is not in reverse so i don't know all right, so what needs to, um, what can be changed in this situation? So what can be changed for today with this priority? What can we change? All right, so overindulgence here, okay? Um, food, uh. Um, substances, smoking too much, or um, pretending to be happy, or um, knowing that, you know, you can't be, you can't elevate your mood right now. This is like, you know, changing your mood from sad to glad or something like that, but nine of cups in reverse, like, that's what you can change, like, 
you, it feels like just an overall mood or um, something that you know doesn't make you feel good, okay? Like for example, me, you know what I'm saying? Eating chocolate, eating cakes and shit like that. It's a vice, it's a nine of cups in reverse for me. Like when I'm feeling, you know, emotionally dragged particularly, that's what I do and I know it's not good for me, you know what I'm saying? Like something like that or you know, like not to say that, you know, I can't have it or smoking or something like that. Personally, I haven't smoked in like months or whatever, but you know, say like you're a smoker or something like that, you know, you just, you know, buying shit up and it's, you know, at this point it's, it's escapism. I feel like emotional escapism, that is can, what can be changed today because the will is here, okay? Things are changing and it's just concerning, like whatever this was in the past here, it's done. It's like a new foundation here and um, there's an energy here of not accepting it, okay? And speaking of acceptance, Okay, what do we have to accept concerning this power, this unexpected change? And I do very much get it's not happening in the way that um, that energetically is being perceived. We got the justice popping out here and the eight of pentacles in reverse. Uh, something that some type of partnership that, you know, quote unquote, should have been. It was authentic that it's not working. I feel like... Um, I feel like this is very much accepting that who you physically thought you were going to do this with, whatever it was, is a strong spiritual foundation here that it's not them, okay? This physical, the energy is the same, okay? That you felt when you initially thought that you were going to quote unquote do this together, but somebody is not putting in the work, all right? I told you, gotta accept. That the soulmate is that whoever it is, the, the blood family member, the old partner, the friend that you thought, okay, and I don't I don't know how long you've been acquainted. All right, there's no, you know, time is you know um fluid or whatever, you know what I'm saying? There's co current times or whatever. So it don't have to be something like somebody that you have quote unquote known for a long time, but a significant person, a soulmate or whatever. Like it's not them. All right, that you're doing this with and you know as far as getting in your own way about it with this magician don't don't do that all right it's not okay and they, they could be jealous they could be very, very cynical not emo not wishing you well emotionally it may not even be showing it like this is emotional connection here you know you can feel it like dragging you like and yeah there's a there's absolutely page of wands hierophants Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Look, there's the King of Pentacles, but it is not reversed, okay? And somebody's going to be watching it, okay? Whoever this person was, okay? And I don't know. I'm not necessarily picking up fuck assery vibes around this. It's just that, you know, people, you know, can choose to grow at their own pace. And if you say that you are ready and you're ready to go, particularly when it comes to finances, building, legacy, money, whatever, and, you know... Whatever, I am strongly feeling like this This is, could be like a, a, a true amical friendship type situation. Like, don't guilt trip yourself. Don't whatever. Like, if it's not them and you have to move along. Like, and okay. And they could be cynical about it. They could be jealous about it. But it just is what it is. Okay. This could be shocking. This could come out of nowhere. Like, don't. This feels like very much like say you were you know, partnering up and you and your friend were creating something for a while, right? And you just knew in your heart, like, okay, like, if I had another partner, like, this would just be, you know, be going more pro progressively for whatever reason. And then, boom, this, this partner happened. And it's like, damn, but... You know, but it's authentic. It's not like you cheated them or, you know, even that you wouldn't allow them to, co you know, participate. It was a three of pentacles, okay? Not just the two of it. Like, it's it's a group situation. But it, it feels like, you know, when it comes to effort or maybe you're just not supposed to do it together with that person or whatever. It's just like, allow it. Allow it. Like, if you know you wasn't, you know, just, you know, whatever little vibe, okay? And it kind of feels like, you know, this would be, you know, be, you know, kind of like a sad situation, but it is progressive, okay? And later on, you probably, you know, it could work out for you too, or whatever the situation is. But now, all right, how is this progress moving forward? Yeah, so, you know, moving forward, okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Cups reverse. So, I mean, 
not apologizing or something like that. The moon in reverse, like whoever this is, man, they are holding back. I feel purposely here. I feel like, again, like this is you, whoever is resonating with, like, with this progressive side of this of working together, like knowing that you have, you could have, and there are other authentic options. And it's just about surrendering this nine of wands, this opportunity, because, you know, there's like an energy here that's not, it's not growing for whatever reason, whatever reason. And it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. And... I love, let me see why I just want to clarify this 10 of pentacles, you know, cause I don't know, maybe, you know, it's just not this, I don't know, for some reason, somebody may not deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's something in the dark that you don't know. Moon card. This is absolutely denoting something hidden. Okay. Particularly with emotions. Maybe you don't know that this person is just secretly a, a saboteur. Okay. And they, they, they prey on your downfall or whatever their personal energy is around this situation it may not even have anything to do with you. They could be hiding truly that they don't feel that they're worthy of a, such a situation and that could hold you back or whatever. And that's what it feels like for whatever reason. It's just like, like page of cups, you know, also there's like some kind of like apology here or, um, again, not wishing well or something like that. Let me get, uh, three. Okay. On this 10 of pentacles in reverse, page of cups in reverse. Yeah. Somebody got some karmic duty. Somebody got some self-work for real, for real, for real, for real. It's some, it's not like this is judgment for this other entity for whatever reason. All right, they they it's judgment season for this other party, and uh, yeah, they're, they're for whatever reason they are uh codependent on materialism, money, or whatever. And that's not up for you to even try to figure out because something is going to come, okay. And again, like I said, they didn't want, didn't I mentioned something like they didn't want to put the work in, and now they have to, they're being summoned to put the work in or something, all right. So maybe you don't even know that this person is just an opportunist, or you know, for whatever reason, if they're not that, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Could have Saturn in the 10th house or Saturn in Capricorn. I don't know. I don't know. Something about money or something and, and, and it's just not popping at this time. Six of Pentacles. Okay. And it is time for this other party here to experience some universal change around money. It's just literally time. Okay. And with the wheel in reverse, it's just not for this person. 10, 10 is up here and it's like, it's happening suddenly. Okay. And you know, the blockage would be the magician, okay? Continuing to try to make this thing happen because it was a soulmate, because you do care. There are emotions. Snake popped out. And at this time, um, be aware the moon is in reverse. So, you know, be aware the full moon, this may happen in a couple of uh, weeks now, maybe like a week and a half. Pretty much full moon in Virgo time or whatever, okay? So let's be advice with the Kipper. All right. The key, success is here. All right. Success. 33, abundance, infinite, okay, power, or whatever. It is here, but not with whatever said soulmate, okay? We have 666 here because um, 33 is 6. We have um, 6 of Cups, 6 of Pentacles. 9 in reverse is a 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, uh, whatever. Okay, 10, 10 up here, but it's not going It's not gonna happen. Look in the moon. Be aware full moon in Virgo is very significant. All right, that's something officially comes through. But like, yo, here, here's, your dream, here's your dream come true. Right to your house. Right to your house. Cancerian could be significant. This could be public recognition here with the park. All right, so that's what I have for today. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in Peace.